West Texas is home to an enormous amount of black history from African American pioneers over at Texas Tech to Lubbock City government. Yeah, but there's one pretty cool part of our history that just isn't talked about much, and it all starts on the baseball diamond. While Jackie Robinson was making history in the majors with the Brooklyn Dodgers and the Kansas City Monarchs and Homestead grades were dominating the Negro Leagues, a semi-pro team in West Texas was making a name for itself, the Lubbock Black Hubbers. Cheryl Ross Gambles' grandfather, John Big Train Childress, was on the team in 1950. My grandfather <laughs> was a character. He was a pitcher, and from what the stories he told, he was the coldest pitcher there was. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Hubbers were started in the late 20s by Bob and Earl Johnson and remained an organized team well into the 50s. Lubbock County historians say the Black Hubbers played their games on the north side of town on this field behind where Cavazos Middle School stands today. And I've heard him, you know, tell stories about playing baseball, so he loved the game. He did love the game, and he tried to get all of his boys to play. Back then, the team was considered one of the, quote, most outstanding colored baseball teams in Texas. And that might lead you to wonder why they were called the Black Hubbers. Well, you see, at the same time, there were also the Lubbock Hubbers, an all-white minor league team who refused to sign black players, much less any minorities. He wanted to play with the White Hubbards, and of course back then it was a no-no. And that includes the father of current Lubbock County Commissioner Gilbert Flores. It was the Black Hubbards that gave his father Raymond a shot at the mound. That's why the Black Hubbards uh, uh, were formed. There was a met, uh, black teams all over the country also. I, I heard he was a, a hell of a pitcher. Uh, back in the 50s and 40s. More than 70 years later, it's still somewhat a struggle to find much info on the Black Hubbers or even their season records. Just a few pictures with the faces of men who had likely just returned from war to a nation that didn't fully accept them, even in baseball. But one story does live on. Uh, they finally arranged a, a game with the White Hubbards, and, uh, and they didn't finish the game. I run the fourth or fifth, uh, and then they stopped the game, and uh, you know why? They Squirt were, out of here. They, they were not, they were not, they did not want to get embarrassed, because <laughs> these guys were fantastic.